Catheter-associated urinary tract infections, or CAUDIs, are a risk to all patients that require urinary catheterization during a hospital stay. Healthcare workers are constantly working to improve aspects of this treatment to keep our patients safe and free of infection. This can be accomplished from a number of different avenues. There can be improvements to sterile process during the insertion, improvements to maintenance of an existing catheter, or by making available other viable options for urine management that pose less of a threat to patients. At St. Mary Mercy Hospital, a urinary management initiative has been developed to improve our patients' safety and care by making changes to each of these aspects of urine management. New products and kits are available. This includes improvements to both the Foley catheter and straight catheterization kits. They are both from the BARD SureStep line of procedure trays, which are designed to help ensure sterile insertion of these devices, and are a marked improvement over kits we have utilized in the past. External catheters are now available for both males and females. The male external catheter is the condom cath available in the pod rooms. The female external catheter is called the PureWick. The PureWick female external catheter provides a new option for urine management to female patients. Prior to the adoption of this device, the only catheter options for our female population were indwelling or intermittent. Application, use, and maintenance of all of these kits and devices are explained and demonstrated in separate videos. Choosing the appropriate device and ensuring that its continued use is necessary is paramount to the safety of our patients. The urinary catheter decision tree was developed to aid physicians and nurses in choosing the best device for their patients in every circumstance. Anytime a catheter is ordered on a patient, the provider should reference this document. If a patient has a catheter in place every shift, the nurse should be referring to the tree to ensure the patient still meets indications for use of that catheter. If they don't, follow the decision tree as it will guide the continued care and urinary management of this patient. On the left side of the tree is a yellow box that shows all the appropriate indications to utilize a Foley catheter. When an order is placed for a patient to have a Foley inserted, first ensure that they meet one of these indications. If the patient does not meet one of these indications, the Foley should not be placed. The ordering practitioner should be informed of this and the reason, but there are other options for urine management. By following the decision tree, you can identify what devices may be appropriate but the use of Foley catheters is reserved only for those patients that meet one of these strict criteria. After reviewing indications for use, move to the right of the yellow box. If they do meet criteria, place the Foley catheter and ensure the documentation reflects the appropriate indications for use. Every shift, on every patient that has a Foley in place, the patient should be assessed to ensure that they still meet indications for use of that Foley catheter. If they do not, it should be removed. This is a nursing intervention driven by policy and directed by the criteria in this decision tree. You do not require a physician order to remove a Foley if the patient no longer meets the indication for use. If they do not meet criteria for a Foley catheter, but you feel they do still need some form of urinary management, assess for the appropriate use of an external catheter. The tree asks if they meet criteria for external catheter use. In the bottom right corner, the eligibility criteria and contraindications for use of an external catheter are listed. If they are eligible, the external catheter should be applied. For men, this will be a condom catheter, and for women, this will be a pure wick female external catheter. Placement of an external catheter is nurse-driven and does not require a physician order. Document the appropriate reason for catheter use in EPIC. A patient that has an external catheter in place should be assessed every shift to ensure that the patient still meets criteria for use. If they do not, it must be removed. If they do not meet criteria for Foley catheter or external catheter placement, any catheter that is in place must be removed. And continued management and assessment of the patient is described in the blue section on the bottom half of this page. This will include indications for bladder scanning for assessment as well as the potential need for straight intermittent catheter use, which is the final step of the decision tree if urinary retention has proven to be an issue. When you reach this item, refer to the straight intermittent catheterization guide or SIC guidelines on the bottom left of the decision tree form. This urinary management initiative is being implemented to ensure proper catheter use and provide alternative options for our patient's care that will keep them safe from the development of catheter-associated urinary tract infections. These products and the decision tree that will aid in guiding their use can be found on all nursing units. The decision tree can also be found on Policy Manager.